Hey everyone, Phil here, back again for another Friday video. First off, apologies, didn't get one done last week because I was waiting on these that never showed up. Um, Pre-order was a little slow to arrive. Uh, only just got around to filming this one now on Wednesday. So you'll see this Friday's pretty short in between. Um, so yeah, if you can see what those are, you know what those are if you're an action figure collector. J.J. Uh, Classifieds. So I was never collecting J.J. Class. Well, let's get to the story. So first wave of J.J. Classifieds announced, I pre-ordered a lot. Um, off a of UK, I think it was Comics and Cocktails, I think, or Kapow, one of the two. I used those two the most. They came in, I opened Destro, absolutely loved Destro. Opened Snake Eyes, absolutely hated Snake Eyes. Rubbery, posing was terrible, didn't feel like he's, it just felt like it was off. Like it felt like you could bend a joint and it just it'd pop off, and these rucksacks just kept feeling like it was going to fall off all the time it didn't feel great so I kind of got frustrated I didn't open the rest of the wave uh, and I ended up eventually selling the whole wave because they went from pre-orders to being in stock to being out of stock and I, I kept hold of them so I was debating whether to keep them I ended up selling them that was it done dusted not doing GHL classifieds ever then a few months possibly six times fine who knows could have been longer than that uh, Flint showed up in TK Maxx. Now, uh, I, think it, I think it turned up at like, was it twelve ninety nine something like that? And I held out and I held out and I held out, and then it dropped into a, a the clearance section. And I thought, Do you know what, I'm going to get it. So I got Flint. I was like, I use it as trade bait. I'll, I'll you know, I'll, I'll wait and sell it on afterwards, whatever. But I was looking at him and I, I just, I opened it. I just opened it. I was just like, okay, we'll give it open. Opened it, and then was just like, I really like this Flint. This Flint, this Flint's cool. It's a cool character. So what did I end up going to do? Went online, looked for other figures. Found that that first wave was pretty much on clearance on all these websites. Other waves were on sale. Certain figures were on sale. So in the space of about a month, I ended up catching up with the entire of the classifieds. You know, I everything apart from I think I'm still missing Beachhead so far of what I you know the the, the early waves and yeah, so I've ended up got a display out there which needs to expand because of these figures turning up uh, of all the I think I've got all of the jaws, not all of Cobra because. I'm not as enamoured with some of the Vipers as they don't resonate with me as much. Um, like I didn't get any of the Alley Vipers. I've got two Cobra Troopers, two Bats. Basically, if I'm getting um, those kind of things, I get two of each, which you'll see. Um, so yeah, I got the display. So and then I pre-ordered um, Crocmaster and Fiona off Hasbro Pulse and. Um, Tag Force Outback because Tag Force Outback was the man when I was a kid it was barbecue and Tag Force Outback those two were my G.I. Joe's of choice so at least I had to I, I had to have those two figures the rest of them I, don't ask me why I got back into buying them again I don't know but I keep buying them and then I stop buying them and then I see them on sale or I see like something oh these this wave's come in you can order these now like, we're actually them with these this was Comics and Cocktails part on Facebook. Oh, we've just got these. This wave have just come into stock. Check out the website now. So, and I ordered these. I didn't order the whole wave. I think there's two more um, trooper types that I didn't get. Those are the, the alternate bats. The, the Python Patrol bats. I didn't get those. Um, but anyway, waffled on. Let's just crack on and I'll show you what I picked up. So, we shall do this in number order. So, number 35, Storm Shadow. Yes, we finally got a Storm Shadow that's not Arctic Storm Shadow. That's one figure I would never buy, Arctic Storm Shadow. I don't know why anyone... I know it was at the time, oh, we got Storm Shadow, Storm Shadow. 
I never buy Addicts on. You knew they were going to eventually do this. I mean, I nearly went out and bought the uh, G.I. Joe Snake Eyes movie, Storm Shadow, but I held off just long enough for him to announce that this was coming. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, Storm Shadow. I don't think there's anybody on the back. I always look on the back to see if there's anybody new that they haven't announced yet, and I don't think there's anybody on the back. Look at the vehicles at the bottom there, which we're starting to get into with the histang and stuff. Yeah, so Storm Shadow, number 35. And then we got number 36, which is Spirit Iron Knife. This one I wasn't going to get at all until everybody said just how damn good this particular figure is. So. I have to grab this one. Um, no real affinity. I don't even remember this figure in the original lineup. So, but it's a guy with a bird. Could be cool. Crockmaster's cool, and he comes with you know. So, it's like the equivalent. Let's do us a bit different. I'm going to leave these two for last because they're the same figure. Then we got number forty-five in the line. Zamot. One of the twins. Why have we only got one twin? No Tomax, but we've got Zamot. Don't know. But yeah, the these these I do remember. I was a big fan of um as a kid. I never had Zartan, but I was a big fan of Zartan. It was weird. Because Zartan came with that swamp thing as a kid and I couldn't afford that one. But I I, I was it was Zartan on the Cobra side, it was Zartan and the Dreadnoughts and the twins. Uh that I loved. Uh, I only had the original is it three dreadnoughts? Never never got the twins, never got the did we ever get a female Dreadnought? Or was that just in the comics? I don't know. By that time, I was out of Joe's. But, yeah, I like Zartan. I like the twins. Never had these as a kid. But, hopefully, we get Tomax in at some point. Hopefully. Otherwise, we're going to end up with one twin. And then, speaking of twins, I picked up, as I said, uh, Cobra Troopers I've got two of. Bats I've got two of. So, I picked up two of number 42 and those are the python patrol cobra vipers there you go yeah the cobra vipers um, again this one i don't remember these figures i don't remember python patrol at all um from gi joe's all i remember is tiger force it was like gi joe's then we had tiger force i don't remember, and then the weird space stuff i don't remember like python patrol or anything so technically this is kind of a new thing to me but i do remember seeing these in various comics and other media um, and they just look damn cool they just it's just a damn cool viper it's kind of a half pie half bat half cobra trooper so yeah like i said i'm picking up if I'm getting trooper types, I'm usually getting two. I'm not army building them. Two's enough. I mean, I've seen, uh, I don't know if any of you watch, there's a guy called Big Dub. He army built. An amazing scene he had. Uh, he bought this diorama kit that you put together and put lights in it, and he had a, a, a chair for Cobra Commander to sit on. He had all these troops filling it out, and then G.I. Joe sort of trying to pile in. It looked really good. Don't have the space. Like I said, I'm going to increase the space for my jaws because of this lot of five I've got in. Because of minute, I've got Billy bookcases out there. Uh, originally, I had all my graphic novels on and my uh, slab comics, and ended up selling some stuff off. Top two rows are now empty, so I'm going to put I put the jaws originally and the cover together there. I'm going to put jaws in one bookcase, cover in another. Um, because obviously things like the ram cycle take up a lot of room <laughs> croc master fiona take up a lot of room that fiona is huge if you haven't seen it um so yeah that'll go out on the display out there and no doubt i'll end up seeing another wave that's come in and be like oh crap i've got to buy that wave now um it's the way it works i don't i'm not a pre-order guy i pre-ordered croc master and cap uh, Tiger Force Outback because Tiger Force Outback for one 
and uh, Crockmaster. I have the original figure still. I've got like a little selection of figures. Dread, two of the Dreadnoughts, Crockmaster and stuff. And um, yeah, so I've kind of been getting the classified versions of the figures I've got. It's pretty interesting to see because I don't really. Quick kick, we need a quick kick. We need a. I can't remember what his name is. The guy was a mail away. Silver shield blaster, silver helmet. Can't remember what his name is. Could do with him as a classified. How they do the silver these days, I don't know. The chrome, whatever. But I've waffled on too much. That's a little quick pickups video. Judge your classifieds. Trying to sort of keep away from the sneakers. Although you can see there, we have a new display Brotherhoods, Pollens, Heritage. They were called, were they Vaults? But I think they called them Visionaires or something like that. Yeah, got the Jordan's way. Been selling some sneakers as well. Um, you know, Where to tell what the, the boxes behind me have all gone. Uh, been going through comics as well. I've got a stack of stuff down here for sale. And I'm, I'm sort of, I do purge, buy and, and buy and purge quite a lot. That's cuts we all do, don't we? So anyway, stop waffling. Thanks for watching. Hopefully back next Friday for another video. Don't know what that'll be on because I haven't got anything coming in for the first time in weeks on end. I do have some games coming in, but they're coming in from playasia.com. Take forever. But anyway, they might turn up by next Friday. Who knows? Thanks for watching. I'm Phil. This is my channel. See you all later.